Here's a quick guide on timers for Godot 4. This is how you make a simple single use timer and wait for it to finish with just one line of code. Here it is, just one line of code. What this will do is it will await for a timer that we created in the tree. This timer is one second, but it can be any sort of time, say 0.1 second to time out. And that's it. Uh, this is a simple one line of code for a one single use timer. An example of when I use this is say, I wanna wait for an animation to finish this page flipping animation and I just use it here. As you can see, I need to wait one second before I can click on anything again and this is just to stop animations from bugging up. That was using code and it's a single use. The better way to actually use timers is with dedicated timer nodes. So what you'd actually do is you can add a timer as a node, as a child node, just the way you add child nodes. You see timer and the main important uh, variables on the right here are wait time, one shot and auto start. Simply named, say you want to auto start, you click auto start. If you want it to not repeat, then you click one shot. Very simple. Uh, there's two ways to interact with the timer nodes timeout. The first is to connect a signal. Say you see up here in the top right, there's inspector and node. We click on node and then you can see the timer timeout signal. You double click on it and you connect it to any sort of uh, script you have, just the main script for the node. And this will create this code here. This will run any time the timer times out. An example of when I use this is in my player scene here. I've got a day timer up here. Uh, I'll just make the time say like four seconds and then it, whenever the timer times out it will emit a signal, a global signal is emitted, go to sleep. And we can just see that here, the timer runs down four seconds, tick, the player goes to sleep. How cute. So if you want to interact with the timer using code, first you've got to reference it by dragging it in with Control and Alt. And now that you have it, you can simply just start it with timer.start and then wait for the signal with await timer.timeout. This will wait for the timeout signal exactly the same as below with the timeout signal we connected, but this is just using code await timer.timeout. And that's it, simple. Another couple useful functions for the timers are timer.set underscore wait underscore time. And this just sets the wait time to like say 10. If you wanna check if the timer stopped, you can do if uh, timer.is underscore stopped. And this would just check if it's stopped. If you wanna check if it's running, you gotta put a not at the front of this with just an exclamation mark. And then you can do timer.stop and this would just stop the timer uh, and then you got start below here. But what if you want to use the timer's time ability in a game? Well, you can use timer.time left. So if we add a label as a child node here and reference it in the code, if we make this a labels text equal to string of timer.time underscore left, this will basically just be a countdown timer and it counts down. Another way I use this is back on my player, you saw the countdown timer from before. This is actually just a progress bar node with the value of the daytime dot time underscore left. And I take it away from the get wait time so that it actually counts up from zero instead of counting down. This is pretty much it for timers in Godot. There's a couple more features such as you can set if it's one shot or auto start in here instead of just clicking it on the right. But that's pretty much it. So in timers, you got simple one line of code right here, or you can create an actual dedicated timer node. So the advantages of the one line code method is that it's just very simple to create a single use timer and wait for it to finish. It's just one line of code, but if you need multiple different functions to reference the same timer, then definitely create a timer node. You will need to use both in game dev eventually. So, thank you for watching my tutorial. Watch my other devlogs or give this video a like or subscribe or whatever you want to do. Bye bye everyone.